In this video, we will see how to configure the menu and site tools. As usual, JSN Epic is used as an example. In the template settings page, you can see the menu and site tools settings parameter. We will start with main menu panel width. You can enter the value for the width of each submenu. For example, now the value is at 105 pixels. We will change it to 85 pixels. With the submenu panel width of the side menu is now 185 pixels. I will change it to 85 pixels. This is the last part in this video, the site tools. You can present the site tools in two ways, menu or inline row. The next three lines allow you to control what the visitors can change in the front end. The text size selector allows visitors to select the optimal text size, I will disable this function. Width selector allows your visitors to select the optimal template width. I will disable this too. Color selector is a very cool feature for social websites where visitors' preferences are most important. You can set up what colors to include in the selector. For example, I don't want visitors to select the blue color so I can delete the blue value. Visitors only can choose these five colors to change. We finished menu and site tools configuration. Thank you for watching. You can keep in touch on Facebook and Twitter with the username Joomlashine. will be shown along with the website name and logo slogan on top of the logo when you enable top H1 tag